Hello, welcome, DJ Vic Vapor with you, and this is the uh, first tutorial in the create, or I'm sorry, creating your first project in Logic Pro 10. So I wanted to put a course together that we've got the beginner's course out there that goes through the basics and the GUI. This course will probably cover some of that stuff again, but we're going to go a little bit further this time. We're going to basically create our first project from scratch. So when you first over open uh, Logic Pro 10. This is kind of the screen that you'll see. And it's going to ask you uh, what kind of um, track do we want to create. So we'll go with Software Instrument, hit Create. So we've got our um, instrument track open there. And before we get like into the course where we're going to go, you know, into the GUI and into the, all the little drop down menus and do this and do that, let's just have fun and make some noise and uh, see how fast we can create some sort of track um, right from the start. So I'm just going to go over here to Apple Loops, select the base category, and I don't have everything loaded on this particular computer. I've got a couple different ones that I work with, but um, this one's just set up for tutorials, so I don't necessarily load the hard drive with everything because I don't want to bog it down. But let me just scroll down through here. So you might have some of these installed on your um, computer. So don't uh, push the panic button for any reason. But let me go down the base here. Let's see what we can get. Um, hmm. Let's see what would be cool. Let's try this guy. Builder base. So when I drag it over here, you can see that it, it I can drop it. I can't really go up here because that's a MIDI track or an instrument track, I guess, uh, pertaining to MIDI information. So I can go right below it there, hover down and just let go, and it'll create an audio track. So it's going to ask us the audio added, uh, I'm sorry, the added audio file contains tempo information. Do you want to import it into this project? Let's do it. So there we go. We've got our loop in here. Let's, I'm going to hit the space bar and audition it. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and put another loop right behind it, sort of like a uh, verse or a chorus. So, let me scroll down here and see what else we can grab. Let's grab... <laughs> Let's see what City Night Bass sounds like. Just guessing here. I didn't pre-plan this. Drop it right behind. So, now we can... Put the playhead right here and hit the space bar. Perfect. So now we can see that we can put more than one loop on one audio track. Really cool stuff. We're getting there. We're getting started, having fun. Let's. Uh, we're going to have to start working with some uh, MIDI loops. So those are going to be green versus our blue audio loops that we just worked with. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Move on to the next tutorial, and we'll explore looking at some MIDI loops, and we'll get this project started. All right, see you in the next tutorial.